the reality is, is that we cannot have a democracy without racial justice, without racial equity. And we can't get to racial equity or racial justice without a functioning democracy. Well, one of the things that both Race Forward and CSI have been bringing is really an understanding of the need to be explicit around racial justice issues. If we can't really understand what is the underpinning of so much of what we're faced with today, we aren't going to be able to undo these structures. Racism is not just an aberration nor is it kind of reducible to individual or even group prejudice. I think what we're trying to do is expand the power of being able to influence uh, the tenor of how we talk about race in the United States. We have to be bigger and stronger and more integrated and uh, just have more capacities to be a kind of one-stop racial justice shop. Until now, we haven't had the kind of infrastructure and ecosystem we need to be proactive We've just been sort of trying to protect our communities from the greatest harm. We need an organization that can help us really pull our forces together and build real political power. We are trying to um, create community uh, of people who are committed to social justice and to racial justice. We're trying to change the way we understand our humanity. We're trying to change minds to understand that each person's humanity is as valued and treasured as the others. It has been 30 some odd years of fighting a scrappy, wonderful, uh, rewarding, but often uphill battle. And I think and I hope that by merging these two organizations together, that we're able to really get to a scale where we're able to power a movement.